Sagittarius, this is Soul. Sagittarius, this is your week ahead, starting October 31st. Halloween, happy Halloween to all of you who celebrate Halloween. Ending on November 6, uh, 2022, messages for Sagittarius suns, moons, risings, Venuses, singles, couples, uh, Sagittarians who are in the same sex loving um, energy. So I'm using the uh, Witch's Tarot, um, how convenient, right? to do your uh, messages this week. There are some reversals here and just found out through doing Scorpio's um, video, we had like four reversals and I'm like, oh, okay. So we're in Scorpio season and you know, normally the energy uh, is favorable and whatnot, but you know, they have some challenges. The reading was kind of challenging for me to uh, produce for them, but it is what it is. Anyway, to compliment your uh, energies here, Sagittarius, I'm going to be uh, throwing a uh, oracle message for you uh, for Halloween from the Halloween Oracle deck. I will be reading the passage from um, the textbook, the guidebook here. Okay, whatever card that is selected for you. And let's get underway here to see what your messages are potentially for this week ahead. All right, three good cuts and we're going to begin. about this deck is you can't tell what cards are reversed because the symbolism is the same um, okay was that three let me do one more just to, <laughs> just to be sure all right Sagittarius here we go your messages for this week ahead begins with the uh, chariot okay major arcana we got the chariot something positive we have the uh, uh oh we have the three of pentacles okay in the reverse Okay, there's the Eight of Cups. Scorpio received that. We have the uh, Ten of Cups. Wow. Happiness, joy, marriage, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, victory and success. Excitement and adventure. Six of Wands. Okay, there's some sort of delay. Even though we got the, uh, the Chariot here, the Six of Wands is movement card, um, you know, energy too. So, but the Chariot is more powerful than the Six of Wands. But I feel that there could be, with the Six of uh, Wands being in the reverse for some of you, it may be a delay or change of plans with your traveling. Uh, following the Six of Wands, we have the Fool, Major Arcana. That's good. We have the Temperance. Oh, another Major Arcana. All right, and that's your own energy, Sagittarius. We have the Six of Swords. So, whoa, Six of Wands in the reverse, Six of Swords, and then we have the Chariot. Uh, last card here for you is the Ten of Swords. And actually, the Ten of Swords is a good card to receive as well. Uh, shadow energy here, because that represents a completion of energy. We're going to uh, select three cards uh, to add to your shadow. Nine of Pentacles was received for Scorpio. And this is a Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is still a good card. It's some sort of delay. It may be a delay and held up in terms of somebody uh, expecting some sort of pay raise or some sort of raise coming in here, but it's still uh, coming through. For others, it could be that you're still working hard on some uh, energy. Um, and trying to get that energy together. It could be uh, a relationship. It could be actually your work that you're doing. Um, it could be anything, but something, um, because this is usually my stamina card, re, you know, rewarding yourself or being rewarded for something that you've done and worked hard for. So the work is still in progress here, but you're not completed. Uh, so you may, may be still working on trying to get something together. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo represent the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. We also have the Four of Wands in the reverse. Four of Wands in the reverse, excuse me, in the reverse is a happiness card. Okay, celebrations. I get this with these uh, in terms of connection with possibly the Six of Wands in the reverse, that there could be some sort of delay in celebration. Um, it could be um, some sort of delay in purchasing a home. It could be also a delay in uh, a wedding plans. Okay, because normally the Four of Wands is the happiness card that results of having to uh, share your happiness and joy uh, inside a structure of a building. So it's still forthcoming. Maybe it's someone who wants to move, purchase that home. Everything is uh, being held up or delayed. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe the money for the down payment of the home is not sufficient enough or you're still working. Remember I said the Nine of Pentacles is the work in progress, that you're still working on something? So it may have something to do with that. That could be a message. Then we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, the Five of Pentacles in the upright is the ghosting card. 
not having the month having the feeling of not having enough money to meet your bill expectations given the cold shoulder treatment um like i said before either you're ghosting someone or someone's ghosting you feeling like you're coming up short but there is a positive um message that comes out of the five of pentacles and that is that still could be the sagittarius that um, donates their uh, time and or money to worthy charitable causes. So this is uh, your energy in the shadow. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, Five of Pentacles, the same energy, and then Four of Wands is uh, your energy, Sagittarius, uh, Leo, and Aries, Fire. All right, so that's the additional messages for you. Okay, so let's, um, uh, where do we begin here? So you have your own energy here, uh, Sagittarius representing. And to look at this energy in the spread, I feel that it's very positive. Uh, but, you know, I, I do readings for a lot of people here. So, you know, it's not going to touch everybody. Only take what resonates and leave the rest alone. But let's begin with the Three of Pentacles because that could have uh, some sort of slight connection with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Where in the upright, this is indicative of someone getting a small pay raise, working in collaboration with uh, others, possibly. It could be in the workplace environment or outside of the workplace environment. But when it's in the uh, reverse, somebody is not getting along and either assisting you or helping you, um, whether it's in the workplace. This could be co-workers. This could be co-workers. This could be, you know, uh, friends on the outside. Someone is not being, because uh, this is my collaborating card, working together with others to achieve a common goal. So, but when it's in the reverse, there may be some sort of problems in the workplace environment with uh, people that you work with not getting along or being on the same page. Um, on the outside, it could be friends. It could be, you know, family members being resistive and lending you some sort of help or support. Um, so yeah, that's the three of pentacles in the reverse. We got that out of the way, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Then what follows that, we'll go right into the eight of cups. Eight of cups is the uh, emotional letdown disappointment. Now, it may not be something um, that impacts you, but it follows the three of pentacles in the reverse. So it may have something to do with, um, you know, relying or depending on somebody to uh, offer some sort of assistance or help. And then, you know, they're giving you a rough time. They're, you know, not coming through for you or they're not being dependable or reliable. So that might have something to do with it. For others, it could be just you having to, um, you know, turn your back on the energies of dealing with other people's emotional drama. <sighs> Peachy, let me call you back. Let me call you back. Sorry about that. Dealing with other people's emotional dramas and um, you just don't want to deal with it no more, okay? You're normally with the back energy. Um, you're facing in the forward direction. So you're, you're looking towards uh, moving forward into a positive type of light, type of energy. You've don't want to deal with this no more. It's behind you. So that's what you want to do. You want to put that energy behind you. All right. So because of that phone call, I sort of like lost my train of thought. And I never fail when I start these videos texting. People texting me, people calling me. And, you know, I never really want to shut my phone down because if there's an emergency, then what? All right. So the Ten of Cups is the uh, positive card here. This still could represent uh, outside of the shadow energy, the four of wands for you. Someone's still getting married this week, okay? There's some form of celebration. It still would represent those Sagittarians having a great emotional time with their significant others, whether it's uh, romantic partners, whether it's um, friendships, whether it's uh, family members, okay? There is a need to celebrate, and uh, it's an even number of cups, so the energy that you give to others is the energy that you will receive back. So Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, just like the Eight of Cups, represents the Ten of Cups. Very pop positive card for you. Ace of Swords is victory and success, gaining clarity, speaking your truth. All right. Using that sword um, to take first actions, first moves, first decisions. Uh, definitely a lot of determination. So victory and success could be had in any area uh, or aspect of your life. That could be anything that you place. Um, there is some sort of assurance of victory and success 
um, that you will achieve, okay? So this here, Ace of Swords represents air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So I basically talked about the Six of Wands in the reverse. It just simply means for me that there's going to be some sort of change in plans and traveling or postponements or delays. Doesn't mean that the trip or whatever is going on uh, is not, you know, still forthcoming, but I think there's some sort of adjustments that someone may be changing their plans at the last minute. It may not be you, but it may be somebody that you're connected to. Uh, Six of Wands is part of your energy, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. So the chariot opened our energy up. So let's begin with this here. The chariot is the mo you know one of the most positive um, movement cards. So either you're moving in a positive uh, path, direction, or something else is moving towards you, and it's a positive energy. Uh, the chariot... Uh, if you are traveling again, say passage to, say passage from, whether it's work-related, vacationing, someone may be thinking about purchasing a car. Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, that may have some sort of connection that someone is still, you know, trying to work to get that down payment for the car. You may have um, car repairs, major or minor. Just don't be the Sagittarius that gets behind the vehicle. Disregard the speeding limits because this is still a moving violation for me, no matter how positive the chariot is. Also, too, because I equate the chariot with that of the star card, social networking, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. So you may find yourself, you know, using a lot of social media or interacting with um, you know, others through social means. Okay. And that's very favorable. All right. Uh, cancer represents the chariot, other water energies, Pisces and Scorpio. So we, um, go on to the fool. You have the major arcana, the fool. This is about new beginnings, taking that leap of faith, leaving fear behind. Okay. Let the universe support you and whatever it is that you are wanting to um, put your energies towards, whether it's a new relationship, whether it's a change of job, career, new relationship, whatever. The fool says, just go ahead and do it. We'll take care of you. All right. So there's an aspect of either you want to step into uh, some sort of new beginning, uh, Sagittarius, or there could be the aspect of a new beginning opening up for you and there's nothing that you have to do. Uh, so your uh, energy here, the temperance card follows the full card, and this is about uh, balance being restored, peace, restoration. This is a relationship. I feel that it's underneath the uh, Eight of Cups for a reason because, you know, if it is anything related to having some sort of peace being restored, maybe it is simply that, that you've dealt with this uh, situation and was dramatic for you, but it's not so much your drama as opposed to the other people that you are connected to and they had the drama. This is the card that I equate with Mother Nature. So some of you may be spending some time outdoors, as I always say, enjoying, you know, Mother Nature and God's beauty. Peace being restored. This is a card of self-love, self-worth, uh, harmony. Uh, it is a relationship card. So again, it could be anything in terms of new connections, romantic or platonic. Um, and we don't really need court cards here to justify that. This is still a relationship card and anything can transpire. So um, the temperance card, major arcana. Then we have the six of swords. You know, some sort of stressful energy that you may have been dealing with. Um, Sagittarius is going to be moving away from you. Things calming down, following the temperance card, clearer and um you know, positive passages for you. Now with this here, I get a purchase of a home for whatever reason, the six of swords always gives me a purchase of a home. So you still could be purchasing a home, um, relocating to a different area. All right. But I do get a physical move here with the six of swords. This is positive air energies, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius underneath the 10 of cups that may have some sort of connection, uh, for someone out there. Maybe it's a family member who's moving. Uh, to a different area or could be purchasing a home. Ten of Swords follows that. And um, this is your last message here. And the Ten of Swords is a completion of energy. So something is about to close or have closed. It's almost like the Six of uh, Swords, okay? You know, some sort of stressful situation coming to an end. That's what always uh, represents the Ten of Swords, a completion of energy. New energy is about to open up. For others, it could be surgical, inpatient surgical procedures. It could be outpatient surgical procedures as well. If it's not you, Sagittarius, it may be somebody that you know. 
the surgery is going to be painful, whatever it is, but hopefully they're um, medicated accordingly to accommodate the pain. And if so, the pain is going to be temporary as well. Ten of Swords is um, Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And that completes your story and your message for this week. And it's not too bad. You know, just like I said before, take what's uh, useful, leave the rest alone. You have the full major arcana. You have your own energy, the temperance. You have the chariot that opens you up. You have the blessings of the ten of cups. And I forgot to mention, too, two tens, just like two aces in a reading, is always auspicious. So you have the ten of cups and the ten of uh, swords. You also have the uh, ace of swords, victory and success. So, yeah, this looks pretty, very promising for some of you, right, for this week. Let's keep our fingers uh, crossed, Sagittarius, and hope that uh, it is. Okay, so let's pick an uh, oracle message for you for Halloween. And your oracle message is uh, eternal love. And this one here says, love is love is love. And it transcends physical death. Wow, okay. Let's see what it says here in the book. All right, so eternal love says all of us are the product of yeah, millennia of love. Our parents, 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 <laughs> our ancestors by blood and ritual all have in some way created the DNA that weaves throughout our bodies. Love, in fact, powers life and death. When most of us first encounter death in our lives, we experience grieving too. In some ways, that feeling could be described as an absence of love and the absence of that person or being. But the kind of love that is often shared between family members, friends, and lovers, separated only by physical death, is the kind that poets wax lyrical about. That is truly eternal and transcends death. Should you choose this card, you are being reminded that love is the most powerful force in the universe. It is more powerful than death itself. Love lingers, it leaves its own legacy, and we should be aware of this every day that we live. For that, are, oh yeah, for those that are ready for and desiring of a partner, it is also indicates that a significant love is close at hand and to be ready to open up to this new experience. Okay, so I like that. Eternal love. This is your energies for this week. Um, Sagittarius, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Happy Halloween. Once again, be safe in all that you do. Be well. Keep smiling for me, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.